Hey guys, so me and Alex started a little garden and I thought I'd show you guys what we're doing. Now we're not experts, like I have never done this, this is my first time, but it's working. So I thought I'd share how since it's time to make another pot. So we wanted to start some now and then start some later. So this is two weeks worth of grow and then I'm gonna start a new one and then that's where I'll teach you guys kind of what we did. So then that one's ready about two to three weeks after. I did was grab an empty a carton to separate and then I put a whole bunch of soil in it now I'm gonna spread this out evenly biggest thing is you just want to make sure you like these big old balls you just want to crumb them up make sure they're broken down like I said not a gardener never done this before but this year we really wanted to start gardening and then we also thought it'd be fun for like Leo to grow up and like go pick his little veggies and his fruit and stuff and start living off the land. I think nowadays with just all of the gunk that goes into the stuff, it's better to start your own and build everything organic. Um, we also started a compost bin with some worms. So if y'all wanna see that, let me know. So once everything's situated. What's your mama doing? You're staring at your mama a little crazy, you know? So once everything's broken up, I like to add what I have each plant. So I do do three rows of each just in case like one doesn't do good Then I have others. However, so far, like everything has been growing. The only thing that I've noticed that didn't grow was the cherry tomatoes. I only have one out of the three pods I put in, but I mean, they're doing pretty good. All right. So what I like to put is I put the chili and then how far apart they have to be so that way in case like I don't have the little seed packet for some random reason I have I know how much I need to space them out when I actually go put them in the garden however I do grow them here and then I'll repot them in little cups and let them grow a little bit bigger before I even take them to the garden so it looks like this and then all I'm gonna do now is I'll wet it so I'll do about two sprays on each one. This allows me to put the seeds in there. So like we're gonna do bell peppers. And you wanna do one seed per pod. Now I didn't know that the first time I did it, so I actually did like a whole bunch. But now I know. Okay, and you just grab your little seed and you put it down. And you'll go ahead and do that for all of them. And then make sure <laughs> the seed you're planting is the one you're putting in. Because the first time around, I did it completely opposite. I had to change everything around, which is fine. But just make sure you know which ones are going which. Just to give you guys an example, I grab this. You want to make sure you don't squeeze it. Like, don't hurt the seed. And you grab another one. And then... Once everything's done, I'll go in and just make sure everything's tucked in, nothing's peeking out or anything. And then it should look like that. And then once everything's set and done, I'll just spray about two sprays each. And then we'll just put these on the window seal. Well, I have like a little space on my window. Um, I'll just put these in the window and then I'll check them every morning and I make sure to water them. You want to keep them moist. You don't want to have them soaking wet either, but you want to make sure they're keeping wet. You don't want them to dry out. Let me show you guys. It looks like this on the windowsill. And we have them right here next to the plants and then we'll just come and check on them daily.